late 18th century. The chain was stretched across to the other side to Barker Tower, again fulfilling the need to ensure that all ships, all boats approaching the city and the landing staiths paid their customs dues. So it was opened in 1863. Big celebrations, bells were rung in the Minster and St Martin's Coney Street and the workmen were given a dinner. Now, the last ferryman was out of a job. He was John Lehman. However, public subscription gave him, uh, collected uh, £25 to buy him a horse and cart and £15 in cash to start him off in business. The riverfront of the Guild Hall and this was the centre of administration for the city of York. This site here, the old Yorkshire Herald building, lay derelict for about a couple of decades in the 60s, 70s, as the newspaper industry could no longer afford to run it. It's now, thankfully, over the last 10, 15 years, been developed and transformed into a very quickening part of York life, incorporating uh, the wonderfully named Orgasmic Restaurant, um, named after a certain film, um, and th the city screen which we see in front of us. And attached to the city screen, a little to the right, we see the cafe, The Yorkshire Herald building itself stands on the site of the palace or, or mansion of the Scroop family of Massam, who gave uh, an archbishop to York, St. Richard of, of York. The rather tall building we see in front of us, the steel and glass structure, that's Leek and Thorpe's as was, and I've had many a happy meal with my mother and others on the top floor. Wonderful views over York, and I think lunches for seven shillings and sixpence. Uh, those days have passed. And to the right of the, Leak, the old Leek and Thorpe's building, we see W.H. Smith's, the back side of W.H. Smith's, and beyond that is the old back of Woolies, Woolworths, and a whole range of shops. Uh, each we see with their water gates, their access from the river, and this was especially important for the heavy goods which arrived, and especially for the Yorkshire Herald with its heavy weightage of newspaper material. The Corner Pin, one of my favourite pubs, uh, dear to me because uh, I used to bring my mother here when we came back from Cyprus and landed at York Station. Just a refreshing drink, back to York. The wonderful frontage, self-confident, assured of the North East Railway Building. Coins on the left belong to the Northeastern Railway Building, the superb spire of All Saints North Street rises above the 19th century railings. <laughs> 